what's up guys and welcome to our predications daily tech tips in today's video i'll be showing you how to renew your safaricom home fiber package using the my safaricom app so to do that all you have to do is launch the my safaricom app just like that and with the app launched you'll either see your favorites or an arrow to point you towards your favorites but you want to go to the home button and tap on the home button and this will give you all the menus that you can access now simply select home fiber and as soon as you do that you should see your home fiber package details at the top there you should see your home fiber account number you should see the package you're on and the speed and the amount you pay for every month you'll also see the due date yeah, and you can see mine is already overdue because it's today and then other information like any other payments you made subscription date package status and all that stuff and then you also have two buttons at the bottom there one to change plan and another one to pay now if you have more than one home fiber account attached to your safaricom account then use this drop down arrow and that will bring you the two options that you can switch between the two different accounts now once you select the account you want make sure you press done and confirm it's the account you want and you can confirm that by checking the speed and the package that you're selecting now the price indicated there basically shows the cost of this particular package but if you have an overpayment it's going to be subtracted from the total amount due and you're going to pay less the overpayment so simply press on pay and then of course we'll see a summary of what you're going to pay as you can see i'm about to be charged the cost of the package less the overpayment i had made the previous month so before you tap on pay make sure you have this amount of money in your mpesa account so then go ahead and tap on pay and then confirm you want to pay for that package for that period of one month for that amount of money and then tap on pay and then of course here you'll be required to enter your pin and that's it you immediately get an mpesa message uh, confirming about your package status and of course another message from safaricom home fiber and now when you go back inside your safaricom app into the home fiber menu you should see that the due date has been pushed to one month from the day you've paid you can also see my overpayment is now zero because it was used to offset the other bill but that's really how to use the my safaricom app to renew your home fiber package thanks for watching you can leave your comments and questions down below don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.